I did not expect to have a great match in this plane. The uh, Key 100 2 and the Key 100, uh, they're not, they're not any, I mean, they're not stellar in any one aspect. So, um, they usually can't out dive other planes. Um, they usually can't out turn uh, dedicated turners. Um, guns are okay I mean uh, they have two cannons uh, but I do believe that the uh, cannons fire at a slower rate than than usual so um, I've been having issues being spot on and, and getting outright kills with this plane but uh, I didn't have a problem this match for some reason I don't know why um, so I went eight and zero um, this is a premium plane I am on premium time and uh, I was not running a booster, but uh, as you can see, uh, we failed the mission, so we didn't. I didn't get additional bonuses. But this isn't bad for eight kills. Uh, it could could have been a lot better, but um, uh, yeah. So uh, some of these awards here: double strike, uh, triple strike. Um, rank does not matter when I killed this I-185 I came up from behind him and killed him uh, I got the final blow as well because that might have been the final yeah uh, let's see I think that was a final blow um, everything else about this match well this guy um, hold on a second here this guy kept coming at me so I killed him twice and he was coming at me again and I was out running him but someone came and actually saved me you know save in quotes right so uh, there is that but in the end I didn't die and when you uh, when you don't die and you end up with in a kill streak I mean that gives you extra points um, so these triple strikes start tying together uh, they start compounding so you get more silver uh, lions and uh, usually when I see people that are on a kill streak I go for them to break that trend um, there's a mental I guess component to things where I would much rather break that their mentality um, play mind games with them um, in a way to where if it breaks their their kill chain um, it could affect a match um, it it would definitely affect their uh, their game so um, so yeah um, that was good so uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're actually gonna play this replay here since I don't normally uh, have great matches in this plane we'll go ahead and play it in fact uh, that was the first really nice match with that premium plane that I've ever had and so this is one base domination it's Corson So the first thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get as much altitude as possible. And usually when I do that, let's slow this down here. Usually when I do that, I'm try trying to find someone I can pounce on. Like here, I'm one of the highest people on the map so far. And I'm probably a little bit too high. But uh, I figured, okay, well, I could work my way down, right? Um, but I didn't I didn't see anything juicy down there and I didn't want to dive into no fur ball or be vulnerable so I decided to head on over here to the spawn and I know what people some people think oh a spawn camper well one <clears throat> this aspect of the game has never been banned and in fact there is a dedicated thread to this that a game master from from uh, 
Gaijin and War Thunder. Um, they specifically posted that uh, that aspect of the game. Uh, don't don't even try to report it because they're just not going to look into it because it's it's that aspect of the game is not banned. Um, there is nothing keeping you from doing this uh, me mechanics wise, and as well, <coughs> you. It's not like I'm actually diving on people that have just spawned in. These guys should be well aware of me. You should be looking up. You should be aware of your your surroundings. And as you can see, there's a couple of people that are coming up at me. And uh, that's, that's, that's bad gameplay. So here's what you do. You weed out the bad gamers, right? So here I go. There are people now aware of me up here, and uh, there's three planes. They could well take me out if they if they plan things. So I, that's there's my first kill right there. He was the most immediate threat, and I took him out. So that guy is going to come back in and try and uh, get a revenge kill. But not before I try and do some more damage here. So I have uh, 4,000 meters of altitude. I'm a little bit high, but uh, what I'm doing is I'm kind of. It gives me time to think. It gives me time to kind of lay out an attack. And I probably need this much altitude to convert into airspeed because, like I said before, it's it's this plane is not good at. At any one thing so so it's a jack of all trades it's a master of none so when I dive down there I need to make sure that I have enough speed to where people aren't gonna catch me um, and, and walk me down and and you'll see that later so here I am I'm trying to I'm working my way down slowly and I'm kind of watching who who might be down there cloud covers not helping any but uh, it's also helping me it's kind of masking who's up here so I'm gonna run down there I'm gonna get both of those planes and they're not aware they're not checking behind them this guy here he got cut unawares this guy here he should know better and I think he actually saw me because you can actually see him juking That was a good shot. That was quick. That was a quicker kill than that Spitfire was. And so now there's someone starting to walk me. And so what I do is I level out. There's someone else coming up behind me. And I think it's the same guy. Let me check. No, it's a it's a Firefly. Yep. He tried to sneak up behind me. Um, and there's Mr. Johnson. He's coming up behind me. He, he can't gain on me. And here's where I try and start to slightly climb. Um, I'm watching the way his speed is. He must be out of wet or something because I'm actually pulling away pretty a decent click now. But now that's going to balance out a little bit because I'm actually climbing. The idea is to get an altitude advantage over him. So I'm still walking away from him, slowly but surely. Okay, now he's getting a tad bit closer, so I'm readjusting. He's not going to catch me like that, so I don't understand. I think revenge is clouding his judgment. And he is like a level 12 player or something like that. Let's see. While we're doing that, we can kind of check him out. Level 23. So he's still... He's still coming, and I try and egg him on by putting on smoke. 
he hasn't turned around yet and I'm wondering well damn is he that hungry and so I'm gonna level out here get some speed and then loop over he's still coming he's gonna turn in a minute by the time I turn around he's already turned back but he's lost speed in doing so, and so I dive down to try and close the gap. And I'm closing it fast, and it's gonna get faster as I level out. And I think he's, he notices I'm coming, so I, he, he's trying to do the same thing. He's trying to do the same thing that I did, which was climb, but the thing was, is that he doesn't have enough energy to get away from me. Another clean kill. He was already dead, but I was kind of playing head games again by <coughs> continuing to hammer him even though his plane was already dead. Which is going to make him come after me again. And what I end up doing is, he, there he is right there. He's coming, and you can tell he's coming this way. So we have a while yet, and I don't there's no way in hell he's gonna be able to climb that high and meet me at the same level by the time I get over there and if he if I do he's gonna not have energy but what happens is is he disappears in that cloud and I don't know if he's trying to hide in it or if it's just you know a byproduct of him trying to climb up at me you can see the spot right there so I decide to focus on other players but I am keeping watch of the dot eventually I end up losing it but I noticed someone else spawn in down there that's very vulnerable right there the swordfish so I've lost him I don't know where that dot went there he is and it looks like he's diving down so I can't tell what the hell he's doing and I want the swordfish next Swordfish knows I'm coming. I don't know why there's a swordfish in this particular match. Why would you pick a swordfish to fly these, these uh, <clears throat> this BR? So there he is. He's trying to kind of duck under me. I get the kill. I've got a, sh a, a decent amount of speed. If I was in, any, in an American plane, I'd be going a lot faster. He's dived down on me. He's actually gaining on me. He's not going to get all that close to me. Now it looks like he's stopped gaining on me. And uh, now I'm starting to pull away. And then a guy booms him. Boom! Pops that ass. I turn around to try and see if I can finish it off. Nope. I didn't get air in time. But I still ended up getting some points for crit. Then all these, I noticed all these other guys look like they're coming at me. And so I decided, okay, let's play head on. I end up getting that kill with little damage. I end up getting that kill. No damage. I end up getting that kill. I take some damage that time. I almost get that kill. And I end up with eight kills. The match ends. So I did not expect all of that. I did not expect an eight kill game. Usually I get three to four kills. And it's usually me struggling to get in the position to make sure that I don't get walked. And uh, this was unique, probably because I spent extra time to climb up and and uh, play vulture on people or hawk. You know, vultures they they they're up above lording it over people, but it's usually over dead carcasses. So <clears throat> they're not birds of prey. 
But anyways, uh, that was a great game. I hope to have more like that because I need more in, in order to research this plane so I can start researching this plane. So uh, it would have helped if we would have, if I would have uh, gotten the mission accomplished for that particular match because that would have meant 120% more RP. But uh, I can't always play the objective, uh, objective on these maps with this plane because uh, that, the weakness of this plane, in my opinion, is that it's a jack of all trades. It, it's not it's not as focused as some of the other Japanese planes um, it didn't always used to be that way um, when it first came out it was killing everybody but uh, they they tuned it down a bit so they uh, nerfed it and it's also at a 3.7 which isn't isn't a bad BR but um, but yeah I mean it's a good plane um, let's look at my stats real quick before we end this because this is getting long in the tooth. So, 58 kills, 6 deaths, 19 battles. That's not bad, and I haven't owned the plane all that long. Um, I forget when I bought it, but, um, this is the proof right here. It's the battles, the number of battles. I don't care if it... I bought this thing two weeks ago or three years ago the number of battles tells all so in 19 battles I got 58 kills and six deaths I have yet to actually compare this back to back with the regular key 100 but I've been flying that one for a while and you can see I've got 358 kills 86 deaths and 154 battles uh, a victory battle ratio of 50% not so much with the uh, with the key 100 dash, dash 2 so anyways uh, again uh, that was a great match I hope to have many more